but yeah that dovetail turned out pretty decent so, but let me see I got the got the offset for the sides and you know it's, it's about ten thousandths step in there it's a little wider usually they don't come out much more than the dovetail but you know it's just the way this one worked out nice sharp points and it looks really good so now I've got enough for eight holders All right, I got a couple of them cut, and I realized I ought to cut one, come through this side up before I go cut another one. That way I don't have, that way I've got three sides all the time. So I've already done these, you know, four sides. So I'm just going to true this up. Back in the saw. Yeah, today I'm gonna work on get back on my tool holders. Um, I've already did two at the you know the five eighths slot for the uh, a little over five eighths for my five eighths tooling. Um, but like all I got, I got one in the chuck now so I got five of them left and you saw my other video where I'm talking about my my CNMGs and WNMGs I just can't get a fine finish cut doing under a ten thousandths cut I can't I, I can get a nice cut but I can't get something you know glassy smooth with these I don't know, I just maybe haven't learned the, my speeds and feeds totally yet with these, you know. Maybe slow it down, push it a little harder. 
or not or slow, just slow. I don't know. I've messed with it. I just can't get a good finish that I would let go out the door. You know, because every time I get down to a finish, I try to stay within a thousandth or half a thou of my mark. So I get out the 220 sandpaper and then go down to 400 and maybe hit it with some 600. You know, that's that's how I'm, I'm getting finishes right now. So anyways, all the rest of these are going to be for a 12 millimeter tools. I've had this one for a while. It's a inside threading tool, you know, for 12 millimeter. And I could cut them all 5 eighths ish, but I just don't want all that play in them. I'd rather have them fit a little better and then the set screws basically hold it in. So I'm going to cut all the rest of these at, I'm going to put a half inch slot in it. smoke down to 250 ish
Oh, you believe that? That's a first for me. That wasn't even 250,000. That was only 203. Wow. That kind of sucks. Well, I guess I didn't have the vise tight enough, I reckon. Broker clean half and two. Is that gonna work? Got about a got about a half inch of it in the collar. I'm gonna try it. Half inch end mill costs too much to be throwing that sucker away. Got enough stick out, just barely get me to where I need to be. Run back to zero. My new zero. Deburr all them and probably set up to start drilling some holes probably. Alright, over here at the lathe I'm gonna use my tool post as a holder so I can use my my transfer screws. You see them? These are uh, 3 8 16 and the one for the, I guess the leveling stud uh, is uh, 3 8 uh, 24 I believe. Yeah. Which I do not have. I have this. It says 3 8 16 and I have another one that says 3 8 24 but it's, it's empty. Yeah, and this, these are neat. It's where you store them all. They stack up real nice inside there, and it's got a cap. And and then this end here is a wrench. So you can install them, screw them in there, and set them to the height you want. But I've already got these set up. It took, takes a little time eyeballing and running a flashlight across them making sure they're all touching so I've already did one but it doesn't take much to make the mark on them I actually need to take this off because this dovetails tighter so once this is locked on I can't get this one can't get that one off so I can lock that one and this one will slide on so I kind of like that being a little tighter my handle doesn't come near as far around but I set it down on there I push it back against the tool post a couple little baby taps and that's good enough for putting my center finder on them And then for this one, all I'm doing is I'm taking a, the 3 8 one of these, and starting it in there. It doesn't go crooked. It's pretty straight. I did it before with the other ones, and they worked out fine. I have some of these homemade ones. They're just pins that go down into a, a hole, an unthreaded hole. This is a 3 8 so I tried to thread it. <laughs> it's 
it's hard. Uh, I ran to barely see where the threads were just sketching right off of it. The, you know, I was gonna set that down in the hole, but I don't have one for five sixteenths to set down in the hole. So I'm gonna have to find some. I thought I had some, but I just happened to look, and it it is marked, and but I don't have any. So, so I just set this one on there and we'll baby tap and I can see my hole you know and I didn't hurt these threads any so just keep setting it up Got me some layout fluid ordered on Amazon. I was going to get it through Fastenal, and you have to buy it by the case because they don't stock it on their shelves. I was like, damn, I'm not buying a case of it. Yeah, I can see those. I'll start this one. Next time I'll on the grinder. Try to get them close. I mean they're they're pretty close now, but take a few thousandths off of them. Just clean them up, get them real nice so they hold a, a bluing, that chemical bluing. They'll hold that real nice because they wouldn't blue very good right now. All right, we'll see you guys.